This is really emotional for me because when Wayne discovered he was going to be speaking here, he was so excited. He was looking forward to this day. Never in my life did I think that it would be me that would be speaking here. And I believe, though, that there are no coincidences. There's a reason why it's us. I don't mean just us speakers, but I mean all of you that are here. You all have one thing in common, and that's Wayne. There's a reason why he put this together. There's a reason why he brought us together. Every single one of you here is here in this moment, here in this place where Jesus was born, in this holy land. You're here right now for a reason. We live in a world of contrast, in a world of duality. What do I mean by it's a world of contrast? When we're in the other realm, I know from my own experience of being in the other realm when I was supposed to die, there's no contrast in the other realm. There's no strife, there's no conflict, there's no war. There's only pure love. But when we come here, we realize that we cannot know love unless we know pain. We cannot know peace unless we know conflict. And what's really interesting is right here, where we are now, the holiest of lands, the birth of Jesus Christ and the birth of so many other religions is the one place on the planet at this moment that is so full of conflict. It is so full of conflict. And that is duality at its best. One of the reasons why there is so much conflict is because each person, each team, each army, each culture, each religion, each country, we're looking for meaning in our lives, but we're looking in all the wrong places. We're fighting and defending for our religion, for love, for freedom, for peace, because we believe it's all out there. We believe if we don't fight it, that someone else will get it. Someone else will get our share. We have to defend it. We have to hold on to it. We have to get it before everyone else does. But in actuality, religion is not out there. It's in here. It's in here. And when you get it, when you know it, when you know it's in here, you realize that there is nothing to fight for. There is nothing to defend. There is nothing to go in search of. Because it's in here. And you realize you've had it all the time. This is what Wayne would have wanted all of you to know. Many people said to me when I said I was coming to Israel, Many people even posted on Facebook, be careful, we see what's happening on the news. But I felt I knew I was going to be safe. I knew we were all going to be fine. Because I know that the only thing that can heal conflict is love. We seem to believe that in order to heal conflict, we have to take revenge or we use violence. But violence has never been the answer to resolve conflict. Violence never heals violence. Only love. Only love can heal everything. Love is actually the answer to every single problem in the world. There is not a single problem that cannot be solved or healed with love. And I challenge you to even think of one. When we fight, when we kill, when we have enemies, when we think that we 
our our religion or whatever is better than others or that we are better than other people we're actually fighting against our own brothers and sisters we're all connected we're all part of the same consciousness many people ask me how can it be how can we all be one when we're all different people you know you and I were separate we're all people but I want you to imagine it this way imagine your hand imagine the fingers on your hand. Now imagine if you couldn't see your palm and all you could see are the fingers and imagine if each finger, each finger thought they were an individual person and if each finger thought I'm better than that one, I'm better than that finger, I got to get ahead of that finger and if each finger started killing and shooting and maiming and hurting the other fingers and one day, they die. And when they die, they realize that they are part of the same hand. And it's only upon death that we realize we are all part of the same consciousness. This consciousness is feeding all of us. This consciousness is connected to all of us. When I hurt one finger, I'm maiming my whole hand. And when we die, we realize, if only I knew that, if only I knew that, how much more powerful I would have been if I knew, if I only knew that we were all brothers and sisters, we were all being fed by the same consciousness, we all have the same light, the light from the same source, shining from behind our eyes. It doesn't matter whether we're Christian or Jew or Muslim or Buddhist or even atheist. It really doesn't matter. Because the only thing that matters is that we learn to love and we learn to accept and we learn to accept everyone that is different. We can only accept when we love, and it starts with loving and accepting ourselves. The reason I keep stressing loving and accepting ourselves is because really true self-love heals us. And when we heal ourselves, just by our physical presence, because who we truly are is love, by our physical presence, we heal those around us. Because when I died, I was not just without my physical body, but I was without my gender, my religions, my culture, and who I was, who I was was something much, much greater, not less. Who I was was pure essence, and that pure essence is pure love. It's pure God, and we can call it anything. We can call it Allah or Jesus. They are all of the same essence. Who I was was pure love. And that's who we all are. Every single one of us in this room, we're all pure love. Underneath these physical bodies, we're pure love. And I say underneath, but in actuality, we're much bigger than our bodies. We're far, far bigger without our bodies. And it's just pure essence. Sorry, I just needed to take a moment. As I said earlier, we're all here together for a reason. Somehow there was a plan. It could have been Wayne's plan. It could have been the plan of the universe. It could have been something far greater than Wayne. But Wayne was the instrument. Wayne was the instrument that brought us all together, all of us. And so what I was, would like to do is I would like all of you, every single one of you, since we are all here together in this holy land, every single one of you to put your hand to your heart <clears throat> and take this moment to make a commitment to yourself to know first of all, 
that you are loved, so you must love yourself. And also, you must realize that we must all realize that the answer to every problem is love. So we have to make a commitment that we have to raise our love, know we are love, and share our love with everybody around us. That's the only way we can heal all the problems in the world and all the strife that we have in the world. So I'd like you all to make that commitment right now. Thank you all very much for your time. Thank you all.